Hey guys. Hello. I thought we would do kind of like a vlog style um, weekend because we're prepping for next weekend. And next weekend we are setting up the farm theme downstairs, which is going to be super fun. So be watch for that video next week on Monday. Um, yeah, so we're just going to kind of take you along. There's a few things that uh, I need to pick up. Kyle, you are going to be building, building a, a barn. barn. Uh, well, I'm going to have to get all the material. Most of it's probably going to be from Home Depot. Uh, we'll just get some simple, simple pieces of wood. Like, I don't even think we need two by four. That's too much. Um, and yeah, just put it together outside in pieces and then uh, roll it in when it gets closer to the day and put it together. Yeah, so I think that should be fun. We're trying to do it kind of like a kid sized barn so that they can take their animals in and out. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, start with some lunch, hey? Definitely, okay. <laughs> definitely lunch. Okay, well, we will take you with us. Come along. So we're just sitting in the car and we're just trying to figure out what the best thing to do is. Um, I need to pick up some chicken stuffed animals. I know that sounds crazy, but I checked Amazon and they were like $60 a stuffed animal, which is absolutely insane to me. So, um, like 70 each. So honestly, yeah, those are huge. But anyways, um... So I'm thinking we're just going to check some of like our local um, like Value Village and Goodwill kind of thing and see if they have anything for chicken stuffed animals. Otherwise, I really don't know what we're going to do. We're just about to go get some lunch because we are starving. <laughs> so I'm thinking this is a no-go. There seems to be a lot, but no chickens. Okay, so we're just at Home Depot. Um, and I think we're going to go by these two by two by eights. Um, Kyle thinks they're going to be easier to screw into. So how many are you going to get? Um, I know that. Pretty much just doing this completely on the fly. I kind of haven't taken any of this. But, uh... I don't know, probably, let's see, I'd say at least five pieces should be like five or six. Okay, perfect. So they're five dollars each, so that's a thirty dollar barn. That works. We can use it year after year. So we're going to grab those. Okay, where are we? Party city. Party city. Let's go see if we can find Let's some. Go. I got you got new sandals. We're going to go see if we can find some some farm stuff can't find any darn chickens nowhere we're even checking the pet store we're not seeing anything nothing nada oh. somebody please tell us where we can find the stuffed chickens <laughs> oh i see like a cow i see a lamb chop they have lamb chops hmm? no chicken though Charlie's checking out the pet stuff. What is it? Chicken. It's chicken. not really a chicken though. <laughs> They've got some cute bandanas. I really like this one for Aria. $7.99. Yeah, we can't we can't leave the store without buying stuff, hey. Okay, so you can see my mask mark. Um pretty much. We did not find a chicken anywhere and I have literally been everywhere. Like, I honestly don't even know where else to look. We went to Party City, we went to um, the toy store around us, we went to the dollar store, Pet Winners, Smart. PetSmart, yeah. So I just, I just don't know. I've checked Walmart. Um, I have no idea where to buy a chicken toy. So I'm going to have to check out online and see what I can find there. Um, I really just don't want to pay $60 for one stuffed chicken on Amazon. That's, That's like crazy. That's way too much. Um, so yeah, 
uh, that's where we're at right now. I think we're just gonna head home and um, we'll see what happens from there. Okay, so, so funny, this just happened. We went and grabbed the mail and <laughs> Kyle's Valentine Day gift to me just came over a month late, so here it is, oh. Uh, yeah. I love it, it's so cute. It's just like this little Bulbasaur flesh. So, yeah, thank you. You're welcome, <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, on March 20th, love it, so funny. Puppies, sit. Good sit. That's such a good puppy, sit, Aria. Oh my goodness. The only way I can do this is with treats. <laughs> you guys want treats? There's one for Atreus. Atreus, here. I'm not holding it for you guys. You have to take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Aria wants to take it. Here, Atreus, take it in your mouth. There we go. Here you go. Take your treat. Good, good boy. <laughs> You'll discover why tops can stay balanced and how friction and weight affect how an object spins. You'll even get to test out some the some top designs of your own. Okay, so I need you to get these ingredients. Floating around the chandelier. Right there, shoot! Got him. We're just. <laughs> Our trunk mm -hmm. doesn't open. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But we're getting all of our bits for stuff. I yeah, guess I will take so these. These two, I can't wait until I can come out here and rake the lawn, but it's still got some snow going on. So that's where we're at, <sighs> down the driveway. You can see the day home. Mm -hmm. Let me just give you a quick little tour. 
So this year we are actually replacing this fence. Um, the reason we haven't yet is because you see these green flags. There's one there and there's one there. Well, that is a utility line. So we actually have to, um, we actually have to hand dig the holes for the fence. So we gotta do that because this fence is just, we've lived here for 10 years and it's just too much. So yeah, we got like a two part yard here. Our garage is over here. And then we go over here and down our walkway here. Okay, and then we've got my beautiful garden. Um, and then the kids just play area. I'll just kind of show you. There's a field um, in our backyard. And yeah, this is this is our project from last year. We started a garden and it just looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait. I have garlic planted here where all the straw is. Um, and I, I'm just super excited to get in here. Our green bin is currently full and that's where we put all of our yard waste. So, but this year, I don't know if it'll happen. We'll see, but we're getting a fence along the back. And then I was planning on doing another U shaped bed, um, right here. So we'll see our little lake back there. But yeah, this is our our backyard, my dinosaur. Hey Kai. Woof. So, what are you doing? I am just prepping to start construction on the indoor barn that we're gonna be doing. Yeah, so basically it's gonna be kid-sized barn. And um, yeah, we just kinda have to put together the frame. Simple. Yes. Easy. Um, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, like Follow there. To walk into, or do they have to crouch down into it? Well, I think they should be like crouching. Okay, so then we're gonna have, like, are we gonna have it come up to here, but then have the actual doorway down here, like with two pieces going across? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. But okay. I think that should be as tall as the roof, right? So maybe like no, well, here. Want, like this will be before the roof starts. Yeah. And then the roof, then the will, roof be will be up. up. Yeah. Totally so I think that's about a good size. And yeah, trust me when I say I have like no actual knowledge of this stuff. I just kind of wing it and then decent with it, to be honest. It's a bug. He built my garden. I built that thing somehow. Oh my gosh. It's, up to you it's raining. I think it'll be fine. Seriously? Well, we're under the cover. So that cow is like this big. Oh my gosh, let me go get the cow. <laughs> we have to go get the cow. We have to get the cow, TT. We need the cow. And yeah. If I have the roof here. I don't need to come down very far. Yeah. And then it's just a matter of how wide do we want it? Yeah, like that. Like that? Yeah. That so is. This is, the, this is the outside or the inside. This is how wide you want the door frame to be? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I think then, I'm good with that. Then the kids can kind of like crawl in between this space. The cow fits there. You could even have the sheep in here. But okay. I think we're going to just keep building. So, yeah, it's raining. We're cold. But this is what we're doing. It's there light, is a possibility. Is oh my gosh, it's, it's snowing. No. Go away, snow. We need to build the barn. <sighs> the 
Is that thunder? Yeah, you know what? We should probably go in until at least this passes. It's cold. Well, that doesn't bother me, but it sounds like it's right above us. So, we're going to work outside. We should probably go inside. So, our barn didn't really work out today. But we're not giving up. We're going to try again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now, we are eating popcorn for supper. And what else? Watching The some Crown. Some. Heard it was good. We're going to check it out. Yeah. We're going to see what it's all about. Anyways, that's where we're at right now. Good morning. So... Um, Harlow and I were just sitting on the couch this morning and uh, we decided that it's not St. Patrick's Day anymore and that we need to go get new nails. So that's what we're going to go do. Ready? Yes. Show them your nails before we're going to a new place because we did not like Harlow's nails last time very much. But yeah, we're going to, we've got a picture of what she wants this time and we're going to go see if they can do it. Harlow. So we just got back from getting our nails done. There's mine. Harlow, do you want to come show yours? There's mine. Harlow's are super cute. But yeah, so just kind of like a quick little story about this. So the debit machine at the nail place wasn't working. And so she asked me to go and get some cash from the bank. And I was like, okay, well, that's annoying. Not a big deal. And she's like, it's fine. She's like, I'll charge you $40 for your refill. And I'll charge you $40 for Harlow's refill. Um, and she's like, I'll also give you guys each a free nail design. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Wonderful. Like, we'll do that. So I went to the bank. I put my card in the machine and it ate my card. It all of a sudden said that the machine was out of service and that I needed to contact the branch. And I was like, what? So that was super annoying. I had to run home to get Kyle's bank card. And um, yeah, just like super, super annoying. Then I get back there, she's doing our nails, and honestly, I don't know if I'd go back there just because, like, there was no COVID protocols in place at all. The girl kept taking her mask off, and she, like, she wasn't making us wash her hands, she wasn't cleaning up after her other customers had been there. So, yeah, I don't know if I'd go back there, but, um, then... Uh, I had a gift card that I found in my room when I was cleaning it, and, um, so this gift card was probably a few years old, six years old, if not more, I don't even know, but, um, it didn't have an expiry date on it, so I gave it to the girl, and she's like, no, no, I don't know whose gift card this is, like, it was from the place, but, like, she meant, like, the person signed off on the gift card, um, so she didn't know who who it was from and so I was like um okay well it's still a gift card for your store so she's like well you come back you come back next time and I will give you um a, a free pedicure and I was like no no I just want to use the gift card now because honestly it's been in my room for like years and I just haven't gotten the chance to do it so I wanted to go to this place just try it out see if maybe it's a nicer nail place than the one that we've been typically using and just get our nails done and use the gift card right so i didn't want to come back again and anyway so um then all of a sudden she was like she started adding on all these charges she she charged me for my nail design she charged me for harlow's nail design um she upped the price everything that she said because we had to run to the bank to get cash she just took it off and she was like just adding on all these fees and I'm like oh my goodness like okay so I just paid her whatever and she took the gift card and I was just done I was like I'm now I'm not coming back because <laughs> you're adding in like a million extra fees because you're upset with the gift card I'm just it was ridiculous but Harlow's nails look amazing they're so cute let me just show you 
How cute. So here's Harlow's nails. They're super cute with the chick and the bunny and then the spots. Um, she did a really good job on them. Like her, her nail art is like amazing, but yeah, just with all the COVID stuff and um, her not, I don't know. Mine look kind of goofy, I think. That's not really what I asked for. I showed her a picture and um, it's definitely not exactly what I asked for, but uh, whatever, they're, they're still Easter. It's four o'clock and we haven't eaten yet. So I just made up some, one of our meals from our kit this week. Um, it's like a sausage brioche sandwich with um, <clears throat> roasted red pepper um, mayo and what was the onion? Uh, sauteed onions and then like a coleslaw on top with apples and then just some baby baked potatoes it looks so good we haven't eaten yet today and it's like four o'clock so we're definitely gonna dig in on this watch an episode of the crown and then probably go outside and do some work so I'm just outside and I'm just getting Kyle to hook up the what well, uh, the pressure washer so that I can uh, pressure wash off the sidewalk because it looks really bad. Let me show you. Yeah, that's our sidewalk just from the winter and uh, it's just gross. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a quick pressure wash to it. Thanks for setting this up Kai. <clears throat> and Kyle's going to go work on our barn. So we're back in the car again. And um, yeah, this time I think we're gonna just go to Walmart really quick and um, pick up some stuff for the kids. Easter baskets and um, maybe just some things we need for day home this week. We'll see. But yeah, that's where we're headed. Onward and upward. Um, yeah, so we just are leaving Indigo. And um, we went in there just to pick up a book for in the kids uh, Easter baskets and look at what we found. So I think we're just gonna give these to Charlie, but The Office and Back to the Future, we've definitely watched The Office with our kids. So I think he'll think that's funny and he loves Back to the Future, so that, that'll be good. But like, how cute are these? I cannot even believe this. So cool, so awesome, so. Yeah, that's what we got.
been a good weekend. We got a lot done. Um, Kyle and I are just going to be building this, uh, this barn here for the next little bit. And, uh, we just got ourselves a drink and we're just going to kind of hang out for the rest of the evening. It's already six o'clock. So the kids have got to go to bed. They got school in the morning and, um, I've got kids coming. So we, uh, we'll probably see you guys next week. Uh, it would mean so much to us if you guys would, uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, we've been having a lot of fun doing this, me and Kyle. Um, yeah. Anyways, cheers.